Let's start by looking at some of the characteristics of pandas data frames and then see how we can build them out of simpler Python objects. A pandas data frame is a two-dimensional data structure. It's basically like a spreadsheet and in fact we'll find that the easiest way to make a pandas data frame is from a spreadsheet. But you can also build pandas data frames by putting together several series that share a common label index. And we do this by instantiating a PD data frame object. Here's a diagram showing a data frame. We can think of each of the columns in the data frame as being series. In fact, we can build them out of series. They share a common label index, which we see here on the left. And we can refer to the rows in the data frame by the integer position or by the label index of that row. We can refer to the columns by the column labels. If we extract a column or a row from the data frame, the result that we get will be a series. Let's go ahead and build a data frame out of three series. So here I'm creating three series out of some Python dictionaries. And then I'm going to print what each series looks like. Then I'm going to combine those three series into a dictionary of series. When I pass in this dictionary of series, I will create a pandas data frame from it. So let's try that. Here are the three series. Here's the names, the capitals, and the populations. If I want to see what the data frame looks like, I can either print it, or if it's the last line in a cell, I can just simply give its name and then it will be displayed in tabular form. When I print a data frame, it's in this kind of clunky looking view. If I print it by giving its label as the last line in the cell, then I get this prettier sort of display of the data frame. If I want to refer to the column in a table, I can do that by using the column label and passing it in as an index of the data frame. There's also a shorthand method for doing this called dot notation. As long as the column label is a valid Python object name. If it is, then I can just put the name of the data frame, a dot, and then the name of the column that I want. When I do this, the result that I get will be a series. Let's try that by specifying the capital column. I can see that the output I get out is a panda series because it's displayed in the format that we saw for series. And also, if I ask what kind of thing it is, it also tells me that it is a series. I can also use the dot notation, and I get the same result. If I want to specify one of the rows in the table, I can use the loc or iloc tools. Using loc, if I want to pass in the label index for that row, and I can use iloc if I want to use the integer position of that row. If I refer to rows in this way, the output that I get will be a series. Here I'm referring to the row that has the label index of az, and here I'm referring to the first row in the data frame, row 1, which would be the Tennessee row. Let's try running that cell. And here I get, again, a series for the row for Arizona and a series for the row for Tennessee. I can also specify the value of a single cell using loc. If I give first its column, followed by a comma, and then its row label. Let's try that now. I'm also going to ask what kind of thing I get if I request the PA row and the population column and the AK row and the capital column. Here's the value I get for Pennsylvania population and it's an integer. Here's the value I get for Alaska capital and it's class string. So the output that I get when I specify a particular cell is the type of thing that's in that cell. In addition to referring to a row by index label or index position, I can also get a list of all the column labels or the column indices using the dot column attribute or the dot index attribute. 
if I do this, the result of that is actually an index object. And if I want to do something with it, I can turn it into a list using the list function. And then it is a simple Python list, which I can use in the way I would use any other list. The same thing is true if I ask for the row indices. They come out as an index object or I can use the list function to turn them into a simple Python list. To summarize, I can pull out either a column or a row, and when I do, the result is going to be a series. If I wish, I can turn that series into a regular list using the list function. So if I want the information about the list of states in the states text column, I can do this. If I want the information in the form of a dictionary, I can use the dict function and that will turn it into a dictionary using the column headers as the dictionary's keys and the values for that particular row as the values that go along with those keys.